everybody welcome back to the channel I'm working on the framework for the Sanhima bag and this is what I have so far you can see this is PVC piping we measured it we cut it to length and we're making this uh, rectangular looking object here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this into the bag so bear with me in a few minutes I will show you what it looks like and then we'll finish it up and I will go in depth on how I made the framework. Okay, we had to do a couple modifications. We had to shorten the, the box a little bit so it fits inside the bag. So it's gonna be a little loose, but it's still gonna have a, a frame that's inside the bag to support it. But we wanted to be able to fit in the bag comfortably and not be that tied up against the bag, you know, just because when it gets hot and cold, the bag might shrink or expand. So we want a little bit of leeway in there. So let's go put it inside. Okay. Okay, we uh, took the top bars off here and we slipped it inside there to clear this. So now we have to go inside the bag and put the top bars on. They're required to actually crawl inside the bag. So let's go inside there around here okay I got the camera turned around okay. now we're gonna go inside the bag here just so you can see how it's set up in here got the joint in there there's a little bit of a little bit of play over here but you can see as it we got it or we have a little bit of room here you know about, a, about an inch inch and a half which that should be fine because we got a zipper to uh, pull down so let's get back out of the bag here. So now let's see how the zipper is closed. Slowly getting it. Yeah, I have to say the zipper difficulty isn't, no, it's not the greatest zipper. I mean, there's plenty, it's, it's loose enough, but all right, now we'll pull down these flaps here. Don't grow it. All right, let's see what it looks like. Turn the camera. There you go. It's actually, you know, looks pretty good. I mean, granted, you can't take it apart and store it, but the PVC pipe that's inside this bag, I didn't glue it together. It's just press fit, but you know, it's sturdy. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's gonna be plenty big enough to put in the back of the truck. It also has these uh, handles on the side, right here. You can use these to uh, strap the, bag down inside the truck bed and it also came with this cargo net which I'll probably strap it down plus I'll also put the cargo net over top just to for uh, extra safety measures but yeah there you go I spent let me see here I spent $1.49 each for these needed eight of these make sure they're the smooth kind in all three uh, three spots I did get a couple that had threaded ends and had to go back to the store and get some more. I could have hollowed them out. I did try that, but it wasn't a tight fit. So if you wanna, you can actually use this. If you wanna make a permanent uh, cage inside there, I highly suggest you uh, do the ends first and then just go in and you could do the whole frame except for the two long pieces. Let me do the whole frame except for the top long pieces. That way you can uh, pull the frame out of the bag if you need to that's like I said just a suggestion and I bought 10 of these this pipe here it's uh, it's a half inch PVC here are some of the, the numbers on it yeah that's all it is the connectors are the same thing I don't know if you can see the skew number on it that's at Lowe's and those were two dollars a piece so 20 
I spent roughly $30 to $30 to build, build the frame. So hopefully this uh, helps you guys out if you're looking to uh, put a frame inside your soft uh, shell bag. And until uh, next video, see ya.